I lied to you. I'm actually going to do a little bit of uh, <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of tracking because I can tell you right now there aren't a lot of really rigid features on my face to track. So I have to talk about it a little bit before I go and do a bunch of work uh, away from you. So we're going to go on a hunt right now for rigid things. If you ever get to see your actor's upper teeth, those are always rigid because they're just glued to your skull and they don't move. But we don't have a lot of lifetime on those teeth. So uh, let's go forward. We're going to do a lot of manual tracking here. Those ASDF keys, man. Okay. So the first frame that I see my teeth is frame three. And I'm going to hit the C key and create a new tracker. This tracker can be smaller. I'm not tracking such a big pattern. And I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of manual tracking. So. Oh, yeah. And then we're losing it. I'm going to hold on to it and then I'm just gonna shut it off. So that's the lifetime of that tracker for the time being. I, I might, boy, I can. I feel like I could have squeezed a couple more frames out of that baby. All right, now I'm starting to see the tooth again. So I'm gonna hit the Z key, not the C as in Charlie key, but the Z as in zebra key and reactivate the tracker. And I'm putting keyframes on every single frame here. Because it's tracking my upper lip, my upper lip is part of the pattern that it's tracking. And, uh, and my upper lip is moving away from the teeth, but I need, I just need to get Oh yeah, look at that. Now my lower teeth are coming into the shot and it's really confusing. So now I'm guessing a little bit and I'm guessing based on my decades of experience doing tracking <laughs> to get the tracker uh, to manually track this feature. So one of the things that I'm using for feedback is my tracker trail. And uh, And there you go. So, and look down here. Look at all of the keyframes that I've made. I've tracked this manually on every single frame. And you're gonna have to do that on some of your shots that are the hard shots. The easy shots, pff, go, ahead and, go ahead and hit that auto button. But those aren't the track, or those aren't the shots that I typically get. I get called when I get called for this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm starting to be able to see my teeth in there again. Look at that. Okay. So I'm going to reactivate right here. That's crazy. What are you tracking? Yeah, I know. Um, whoa, I just hit the F key by accident. There we go. That's my D key. I have my hand off, off my little synthized home row. I can tell you right now, what, it's like, why are you tracking that? That's crazy. Why are you tracking the corner of your tooth? I mean, certainly there must be things that are easier than working it through these really difficult frame ranges. The truth is, I know already I'm going to have a dearth of trackers, or dearth of, I'm sorry, trackable features. And so I'm going to eke out whatever I can for as long as I can. Oh, that's great. There 
from my bottom teeth again. This is the point where you get mad at the actor and you say, what, God, stop moving around so much, or uh, just remember, that actor doing that is giving you a job. <laughs> That's your income. You can now say, I do the hard shots and because of that I get I get to make my rent or pay my electricity bill okay so there I've got two features so uh, that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit um, was your your trackers are gonna come in and out in terms of the frame ranges and uh, and then here's another thing so you see you see this little um that's a pore by the way and that is a uh, a medical condition called an enlarged pore of Weiner I highly recommend you look it up I'm crazy because anytime I have any kind of medical situation that a doctor explains to me I have to know everything about it so I almost did this thing I almost turned on my tracker wand I do that sometimes it's an old old habit from before when the C key existed. Now, you see that thing is flexing all over the place, but right there at that frame, that part of my face actually becomes rigid. So, three, four, sometimes. So I'm gonna track that. Uh oh, now and then it starts flexing again. Right about there. And I'm going to turn off the tracker and then it then it just goes Then I can't use it anymore but let's see if I raise my eyebrows again into another rigid position for that tracker nope oh right there and even if it's on for two frames I'm gonna use it before I start flexing it again no, not even there I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this keyframe and shut off the tracker. I'm gonna wait till the next frame and turn it back on. And Z click onto the pore, onto the enlarged pore of Weiner. Uh, and now that's it. I only get two frames. I'll take them, man. I'm gonna take them because you you take what you can get in this world of uh, very few trackable features. So, let's make a new tracker for the same pour. And then I activate my facial muscles right here and turn it off. I know that later on I relax my, there we go down to there and I'm gonna Z click onto that pour again oh and then I do a different kind of weird thing where I squinch my eyebrows together I know that I unsquinch them at some point right here Z click again And then, that's it, shut it off. So, these are two different trackers. That tracker and this tracker, tracking the same feature, are two different trackers. Don't, don't consolidate those. That would be a huge mistake. That would be a very, very huge mistake. Um, so, we're only tracking for the lifetimes of where they are rigid in relation to anything else. Now, let's find some things that are rigid. I think my ears are pretty rigid. Uh, when I was a kid, I taught myself to wiggle my ears. And so the muscles on the back of my head that control my ear wiggling, sometimes those activate and then my ears go crazy. And so those aren't even rigid, but I think I didn't do that in this. I have some other footage that I shot uh, where they do activate. 
Okay, now we start to see the lifetimes, uh, the, the feedback down here tell us, oh, look, you've got enough trackers there to start thinking about doing a solve. All right, now I'm going to leave you. I'm going to go ahead and track a bunch, of, bunch more features and, uh, and come back after there's a lot more that's been tracked. And we'll, um, we'll pick this back up.